You don't have to stay anywhere because I'm talking to my husband. What I say to my husband is none of your business. And I have all my teeth, bro. Like, come on. We could both sit here and talk shit about each other. Just one of those YouTubers that does this to get attention. There's some reason we are recording right now. Okay, so I have to ask. And we can get your ass from San Diego to San Francisco in five minutes. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm out here in San Diego again. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, walk down. I think I did a couple miles yesterday, uh, checking out the area, the small shops, uh, stores, uh, checking out the buildings and the uh, anything else that I find super interesting. Many of you guys left some suggestions on how I might uh, improve. And I'm gonna try and work some of those in. Uh, let me know what you guys think um, uh, as we kind of progress here as a channel. So we are at Goldfinch Street and University Avenue. And one of the first places I've come across happens to be a, uh, looks like a brand new opening Besties dog grooming. Um, location uh, looks like sh looks like they're just now opening up so they have a grand opening tomorrow that's cool kind of got perfect timing here Chaka Ron Chaka Chaka sorry I'm a uh, I'm gonna try here Chakarian uh, Associates Chakarian probably butchered that still um, doesn't say what they're doing um, anytime a name is similar to that it's usually an attorney's office however it looks like I can see some small print over there that says accounting services so um, not really a high traffic location I don't believe so um so this gentleman right here came out of the shop um not really a high traffic situation here so i don't think i'm gonna stay longer than the three minutes um the gentleman in the grooming salon actually came out um and is looking for hey, me hello I just spend about three minutes in front of each spot, do a little talking about it, oh. <laughs> and try to get some people coming in and out. What for? Uh, we do travel videos. Travel videos? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know why you want an accounting firm on a travel video. I get told to do every business, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep, you have a wonderful day. It was actually really friendly. And then we got heart work coffee looks like they have a quite a selection of um, coffees on the door i do like that setup i do like the random thing staring at me i feel like a little cut out um, it's a cut out of a gentleman that looks kind of cool uh, at first I thought it was somebody staring at me, but it is, in fact, not. Um, I do like that they have these slide-up windows that open all the way up. And they push their little cabinets out. Let's them make a walk-up style situation. Which provides them the entire use of the space behind them. So that's kind of cool. I'd like to get some people coming up to get their coffee. Um, that would be nice. Or at least a couple people walking by. Um, this is a very busy intersection. We are at Washington and Goldfinch here in San Diego. Um, the gentleman in the back actually is wearing a mask too, so hopefully he's not perturbed by the fact that I'm wearing one. Um, how you guys doing?
So I'm about uh, three minutes up here, I think. Um, got a couple walk bys. Uh, nothing exceptionally friendly or unfriendly. Um, If you guys are in the area, uh, it looks like they have a little bit of everything here. We're all about supporting the smaller uh, places. So, Heartwork Coffee, uh, 3993 Goldfinch. Um, okay. Seems to be a good place to stop by and get some coffee in the morning. Parking might be a little challenging. You can't really park right next to the business. Um, they do have metered parking. Um, not too far away. If you go one block down, you get free parking and it's quite open up there. So if you go down the street a little bit and don't mind a, a two minute walk, um, you can come get your cup of joe from him. He used to have a store called Music Trader. You can get old record CDs. Now, in my days, they weren't really old, they were new. <laughs> uh, now they're old. Uh, and I mentioned how it would be nice to have a few of those stores back. Uh, the vibe. This is the second one I've seen in this area. Um, little small vintage shops. Uh, looks like they have records and discs, um, new used. And it's called M Theory Music. For those of you who say I talk too much and narrate too much, I just really can't sit here and just stare at a building and not feel like I have to narrate it. Otherwise, when I edit it, there's nothing there not even my voice to keep you guys company and we all want to be kept company at some point that's cool so one thing I wanted to let you guys know that um when I do these videos, I typically stand wide a distance back from the door as to not be all up in their face. I don't want to obstruct people coming into their shops. And I'm almost standing in a bush. So I'm standing between a bush and a light pole. So just because the camera appears to be peering right into the window, that's actually not the case. So this store seems a little closed right now, but I have to say that I kind of like this. Um, the tree is a little obtrusive, but I kind of like it. <laughs> so the lamp lighter has been here for a long time. And years ago, I used to do web design with a couple of idiots. And in that period of time, we designed a website for the lamp lighter and did a little bit of their social media stuff. This is uh, more than a dozen years ago now at this point. I'm assuming they've updated the website a few times since. On this one, we have a chiropractor with kind of an uninviting front end. Chiropractic. Uh, play on words there, I guess. Um, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if that's the actual French version of the word or if they're just making it seem like it is. Um, but this is at 813 um, Washington Street. Their policy, they have a puppy policy. So I've been noticing a lot of the businesses here have been putting a puppy policy that states we love dogs too, but please only disable or disability trained service animals. Um, so that's kind of cool. So the inside is, I don't know how to describe the decor. Um, that's a light, if you can see that. And they have some weird cage stripes on the inside wall. And essentially a Minecraft desk. Does that look like a Minecraft desk to you? Some people coming down. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? Good, 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 good. 
So they have Dippin' Dots, which if anyone knows me, I'm obsessed. Um, so the last pizza place that we went, ran into, um, we actually tried it out and it was really good. Um, not as great as Bronx Pizza, uh, which is a few blocks to my left, uh, a few blocks to my east, but definitely really, really good pizza. I haven't been here yet. This place looks a little newer, um, or at least new to me. It says established 1979. Um, I don't remember it being here when I lived here. It might look like I'm standing right in front of the door. The sidewalk is a little smaller. So if you look at my feet, I'm actually hardly hanging off the curb, which is the general practice that I do. Because we already know people are going to be like, he's blocking the door, he's standing in front of the door, he's obstructing the customers, they can't come in and out. And that's just not the case, never has been. I always keep my distance, um, calling it a courtesy distance um, would be a good way to word that. Um, how you doing? We got Joe's Diner. Um, very unassuming would be a good word for this. Such a gentleman. here and we did get some people going in so we're gonna call it a day right there liquor store now you guys can see glare which is pretty much all I can see um, with the exception of a faint movement which is a person so um, Yeah, <laughs> goes to show you how little you can see going into these windows, uh, especially during the day uh, when all the light is on the outside. So I wanted to spend about a minute and a half here and then go to the front of the store where I might actually get um, some kind of visual for you guys. Across the street now. The Red Door Italian Cuisine. The Red Door. It does not have a red door. There's a burgundy door. <laughs> so the sidewalk here is not wide again. Um, I am standing on the red curb itself. Hello. How you doing? How you doing? Good. I'm filming a video. 
for the uh, the red door? Uh, the whole block. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm only. F <laughs> I don't want you walking behind me. Alright, that was weird. Um, so he was walking behind me uh, in a circle. I wasn't expecting that. I actually got those guys coming out. We were at our three minute mark and I was getting ready to move on. And he came out, did a circle around me, pulled out something that appeared to be like a knife or something. Um, so that was uh, different. A little bit more uh, momentum going on. Part of the fun of doing the travel videos is having people traveling in them. Oh, people running me over almost. Um, so I wasn't recording me crossing the street and I should have because I almost got hit. Um, that was fun. So this will be different. I get to uh, record behind some uh, of, you know, I used to be in construction scaffolding. <laughs> I used to be in construction. I know this term. Uh, there's a scaffolding structure right here. How you doing, man? Right. Might make this a Starbucks day. Filming. Like people yeah. you don't know? Yep. <laughs> For what? I do uh, post travel videos online. Okay. See you all, dude. So notice they have a black mask and a black hat. Yes, he didn't allow me to cross. I know, I saw. Yes, it's just so terrible. I almost got hit coming across right here, so it's every day. Nobody pays attention. Nobody. Yeah. What happened with the people? They'd... I came in America in 2000. Oh, damn. And, not, and now it's like the sky and the land. Where are you from? I'm from Russia. Russia, nice. I'm Jack. How you doing? I'm Valentina. Nice to Valentina? meet you. Valentina? I love the name. I love oh, the name. Thank you. Oh, well, so sweet. try not to get hit crossing the road. Yes, it's just something. <laughs> Everybody's in a hurry. Yep. And you too. You Ev have to be careful. Everybody's in a hurry. Yes, you're right. Thank you very much yep. for talking to me. Absolutely. Be because safe. Some people, they are, when I, I told them that I came from Russia, mm -hmm. they are afraid. They changed the face. Fuck them. Like I started the war. I didn't. I ah, fuck in, them. Fuck them. The, exactly. I agree with you. Don't pay no attention, dude. We're, we're, yeah. we're good people. Yeah, yeah, I know. I yeah. have a lot of friends among American yeah. people. And I'm American too because 
since 2000 yeah. when the Americans are the best. We try. The world they have to learn a lot from them. Yeah. How to be generous, yeah. how to be nice, you know. Yeah. And how to be hard working people. Absolutely. Yes, because yeah. the life is not like a paradise. Yeah. Yes. You you have a wonderful day and happy yeah, new you year. Too. Oh yeah. And remember the life is short. Enjoy oh yeah. It. Yep. Okay. Bye bye. You have a good day. You too. That was a cool conversation. So apparently a lot of Americans do treat her poorly as soon as they say that or as soon as she says that she's from Russia. It's kinda sucks. It's not like she's over there starting the war. That's a uh, politicians doing all that crap. Later. Yep, you too. Happy New Year, man. How you guys doing? How are you? Good, good, good. Yeah. How you doing, buddy? Doing bus. What are you recording for? Just making travel videos, getting people coming in and out. Where are you from? Um, well, I'm from San Diego. Just got back here, getting this area now. Hello. How's it going? Good. Um, just a quick question. Yep. Is there some reason we are recording right now? I'm just, I make travel videos. Uh -huh. I get people coming in and out. We time lapse them and. But for what? Because it's. I just told you it's travel videos. Uh -huh. We post them online. Okay. And, and we stay in front of each business. We time lapse people coming in and out. Mm -hmm. And that goes into the videos. Is there any way that I can ask you to move, please? No, I'm not finished with my job. So, are you working for somebody? Is there somebody that I can contact? Uh, there wouldn't be any need for that. I mean, it, I, no. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to ask you to move out okay. of the front of our public okay. store. You can ask, but I am on a public sidewalk. Okay. So, I'm allowed to be here. All right. I'll All let right. you know. Uh-huh. I'm assuming, I, I didn't mention this earlier, but I assumed about 20 minutes ago that they called the police or somebody did, so that's why I'm still here now. Um, it is hot as hell on this corner, and my, my whole backside is baking. I can feel the heat radiating off the top of my head, through my beanie, and on my neck, through my mask, so um, I am not comfortable here but I now I have to stand my ground. Hey, man. You're not going to talk to me. I get it. What happened? I got you something. Oh, I shit. This is, oh, shit. I shit you not. <laughs> I love what you fucking do. Appreciate More it. than you fucking know. Appreciate it. People give me so much shit about talking about what you do. Yep. But I think it's fucking cool. Because you know Perfect. what? You're living Appreciate your life. It. Absolutely, I am. And there's a, there, there, there's a brother. Oh, my gosh. I can't. The bottom line is thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for what you do. Thank you so much. But people fuck with you, don't they? Oh yeah, right now I'm got I got fucked right now. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> if I was out here, I'd fucking smack him. Oh right. Well, I try you not. Say, I try you not say, to do that. But you got, you have, thank you for your support. Thank you no, so no, much. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, absolutely. It's so fucking much. Absolutely. You look intimidating. That's why they give you shit. It, so I'm out here with the sun beating down on my neck all day, which is why I wear this. And uh -huh. when I'm in the shade of the building, then it's really cold. And so. people look at you like, and they get... And, well, do, it's do funny people is, get the sideways? They do, but the funny thing is, is so there, there's been like four or five people that have come with a mask and hat on, too. The only difference is I got sunglasses. And it, 
adds to the appearance. So I was talking to my buddy about the Chris Licker thing, and I told mm -hmm. him, I go, this guy knows what's going on. He knows his rights. Oh, yeah. We as human beings, we don't know our rights. Well, what happens is if you don't exercise your rights right. on a regular basis, they take away they, from you. They erode through all of the, the Karen laws that get passed. and yeah. Thank you so much. So yep. call him, he said you were here. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> I'll get some tickets, Mark. Be safe, man. Do your thing. I appreciate it. No, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead. You go ahead. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, they're all in there having us. Nothing but love for you, man. I love yeah. what you do. Nothing but love for you. Yeah, they're all Be in safe. there scaring everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh, what you fucking doing? Yeah. Oh my god, we're gonna pay some money for this? <laughs> we can't do this. Be safe, man. You too, man. So my dumbass, uh, I pointed it at him for part of the conversation, but I actually missed the other half of the conversation. Um, I captured it on video, of course, but um, I really should have got more of his face, which I didn't, and I wish I did. Um, he definitely deserved to get his voice out there. Uh, my mistake, and I'm going to work on that a little bit more. Um, as soon as he handed me the snicker bar um, and started going off on the support, it just threw me off a little bit. may have them melted by the time I get to eat them. But it was a very kind thing for him to, uh, for him to do. So I do see uh, two patrol units actually coming down. You're not going to see them right now, but I have two patrol units coming down. And, you know, if things go well with them, they are going to protect my rights. They're going to let them know I'm not doing anything nefarious. And that there's nothing that they have the power to do. Um, so you'll notice I'm not bothering anybody. I'm not even talking to anybody. There's one unit, two unit. Um, I believe they're doing an initial drive-by to kind of see where I'm at. Um, or maybe they got the call and just got other shit to do. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Wonderful. Happy New Year. Good morning. Uh, I'm not sure what he said. He did cover his face, but you know, that's fine. I'm respectful of his right to do that. Not sure what he said in response. I did not pick that up. I'll have to try to listen to that. Might have been a shocked surprise. Hello. So about this area, there's a lot of ambulances. So everybody that was freaked out and huddling in the store made it out just fine. Um, just for the uh, record here. Uh, nobody got attacked or brutalized or yelled at when they came out the door. All that fear mongering for nothing.
you'll notice when they went into the store, they were super friendly, but on the way out, after the workers scared them, he backed out of the doorway and hid himself for no reason. This is called fire starting and fear mongering from the manager that came out, Rosie. <laughs> he went all out to try to get not on film. He could have just gone out the other door. I'm gonna get some shots of people coming in and out. So I'm setting up here at the US Bank. Um, I think I have officially found the correct area that I'm in. It is Mission Hills, not Hillcrest or Golden Hills. Um, it appears to be Mission Hills. So, um, that's the uh, area that I'm in right now. Hopefully get some people coming in and out of the front here. Um, otherwise I'll move on. bank here guys um, we are on the corner of Washington and Dove Street Washington and Dove Street no cameras on this side of the building except for the one looking directly at the ATM and it's not one of the little round bulbs that you can't really tell where it's looking it's one of those big long cameras um, Now there's a baker that looks like he just took notice of me and he stood up and was staring at me. Um, there's a, another worker in there just took a picture of me <clears throat> with his flash. And he has walked outside to the bank and appears to be walking around the branch. So he may or may not be coming on this side of the building to speak with me. <laughs> Hello. I'm just filming. Say again? I'm just filming. Okay. What's it regarding? Uh, I do travel videos. Okay. Okay. Interesting. It's, it's a little different when we see you. All right. Don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm assuming he's coming out to call the cops, or he's going to call the cops now. So he is on the phone with the cops. I'm eight minutes in. I usually stay at the banks for about ten minutes, move on. Um, he just called the cops. He's giving them a description, <clears throat> looking at me through the window. Sir, you dropped your glasses. So, they have made a phone call to the police regarding me, so there's no way that I can go help him and assist him with his glasses. There's just, uh, and it sucks. Uh, you also can't assist him with the door because that's private property. 
which I'm assuming starts at that line right there. Um, I'm not allowed to go on public. Hi. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, nice. I drive, but you know, it's time when. Uh, Too much traffic. Yes, very and, much. And people are crazy on the road, yeah. so. <laughs> you saw yourself. <laughs> yeah, so I decided to walk a little bit. Yeah. You know, the tools, uh, you know, wait. Because it's very really important. Absolutely, absolutely. Especially when you are not young anymore. Yeah, well, I'm starting to feel that too. <laughs> no, you are still young. <laughs> you are very young, you know. Uh, I hear it from your voice. Mid 40s. <laughs> no, that's young. Yeah, you know? yeah. That's, it's not 70. So, you know. Okay, have a nice evening again. Thank you. Yes, Thank nice you. to meet you. Yep. Yes, be healthy. Will do. We Thank can you. Buy everything absolutely, else. absolutely. Yeah. I agree with that 100%. Yes, it's yep. just something, and especially in this crazy world. Yeah. Yeah, that's why Russians drink a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, have a nice You too, you too. Bye bye. I need a camera for my forehead because, uh, again, I turn the camera away from when I'm talking. I gotta stop doing that. And I caught myself this time. So that's a bonus. I'm really beginning to notice um, that after the mistake earlier, but um, yeah, I'm gonna, I will improve that. So you don't have to yell at me for that at least. I thought about a couple times yesterday going as far as to just say, you know, when they ask what I'm doing, just be like, exactly what you see here. I feel like that's gonna not calm anybody though. But it would be an extremely on point truthful answer. And if they ask again or repeat uh, the question in a different way, I could just, you know, reiterate, I'm filming without necessarily going into the travel and how long I spend in front of the buildings and, you know, um, I could mix it up here moving forward, uh, just case by case, like I said. is the tiniest little dog. So I'm about to have an interaction with security apparently. Hey dog. My question is, where is he 25 minutes ago? down this direction now a little bit so I want to get this one a little bit more get the side off a little bit um, she's gonna close the blinds <clears throat>
that they're broken. What's your video taping the bank for? Just making a video. For what reason? I don't have to answer that. Huh? I don't have to answer that. You don't have to answer that. Alright. You're right. <laughs> I'm just kind of curious as to why the yep. hell you'd be doing that. If he wasn't standing here, I'd actually tell you a little bit more about it, but... Mm -hmm. Did you fly in the Air Force? Did I fly in the Air Force? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Well, thank you for your service. Uh -huh. Sometimes I still do. Not really? Yeah. Nice. One thing is, you'll never see my plane. <laughs> it moves so fucking fast, you won't see it. Yeah. It doesn't go very fast, Mach 11. Damn. It's no bigger than your typical Sprinter van. It's a little bit wider, but about the same length as a Sprinter van, about the same height. Nice. About maybe twice as wide. Nice. But that thing moves so damn quick, man. The only thing that you can barely keep up with it would be an SR-72 Dark Star. How long did you fly for the military? Five years. Yeah. Then my eyesight went off, went off slightly. Got sprayed in the face by a skunk. Damn. <laughs> and I fucked up my vision just enough to where when they went to go for my annual physical, I couldn't fucking see shit. Damn. When they gave me the litmus test for checking out the electrical wiring color codes, they said, oh, we can't use you anymore. Oh, well, sorry, sorry to hear that. Well. Sorry to hear that, man. I still got my bird out in the boat here. Yeah. So, have you ever seen any pictures of my bird uh, mm -mm. on YouTube? No. Hard answer? Nope. Have you ever seen it? You'll know it. Nice. Looks like a miniaturized version of the SR-71 Blackbird, basically. Not quite the same configuration, but... It's about that, about that size. And we can get your ass from San Diego to San Francisco in five minutes. <laughs> My intention isn't to rattle anybody. I just want to get some really good interactions of people coming in and out. I got a few of those. I actually ran into the uh, very nice Russian lady uh, twice today. Uh, once here and once over at Starbucks. Um, had a really good conversation with her. And would have wrapped it up at that um had they not called the police and had security not been staring at me at the side of my neck um so i'm waiting here for police to show up i'm imagining that they are planning to um so unless they were told that they're not coming um by dispatch then i'm gonna make sure to stay here so i'm not running away So, right here, if I had a better camera, I could see all of the financial information of the lady that's at the uh, desk right there, through no fault of her own or mine. It is 100% the bank's fault that people have access to your private information right there as you're at the teller window.
That is U.S. Bank's lack of lack of care. Um, I mean, it's pretty easy to understand if you put a monitor facing a window that you keep open that you're gonna have a clear line of sight going in. Now I can't publish or display any information um, even if it was visible. Um, YouTube is not okay with that kind of uh, material being published. Uh, and I wouldn't do that to anybody anyways. Like I wouldn't want someone doing that to me knowing that the banks really could care less about your privacy. Um, they spend more money every year settling privacy lawsuits and class actions um, rather than putting that money into protecting your privacy. So that should tell you a little bit about the banking system out here and how privacy is not their concern. How you doing? Did you record something? What's that? Did you record something? I'm just making a video. Oh, for what? <laughs> uh, for YouTube. I'm making a video for YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. It's okay. Right. Thank you. <clears throat> so, instead of arguing with me about it, he's like, okay. What's that? What are you doing? Filming. Okay. <laughs> it looks a little creepy, so I have to ask. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. just filming. All right, like, everyone cool with it? What do you mean? Like, is everyone cool with it, or are you just like... I, I'm in public just filming oh, people, got it. so... All right, thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> So we are we are at the uh, Floyd Floyd's 99 Barber Shop at 417 Washington Street. We got a uh, some little bit of classic, a little bit of new, a little bit of grunge. Um, I really like the artwork on the wall. It is inclusive of some old. Uh, artists and sports players. You got Bob Marley at least. <clears throat> Looks like Paula Abdul's in there somewhere. Um, I know they got the white stripes. How you doing? How are you? Good, good. Um, I know they got the white stripes and the, I like the decor. And um, topic of conversation in there tonight so um, giving them something a little extra to talk about tonight add to their so I know it feels better when you get head shaves and stuff um, with all of the bells and whistles but you know for $40 uh, now mind you you know, I'm, I'm just used to old school. It's been like 18 bucks to get my head shaved. Um, and that's only recently, like a year ago, it was, you know, 12 bucks. Um, can't imagine 40 because for 40, I can just buy the damn electric razor and stop making excuses, not doing it. 
but they do look like they're giving their customers a great experience and they're on the chair uh you get to look at some cool stuff you know so you're kind of paying for the frills and the bells and whistles but um that's almost why you know you come here for the experience not really for the haircut um which is fine you know um to each their own i stick with my barber um that i've had for almost 15 years now holy crap i'm getting old um but yeah we'll take a look at the uh pricing here um right there i'll try to zoom in on it um and I think we're we're at our three minute mark for sure. So we'll move on to the next, and that's uh, Floyd's uh, barber shop there. Um, yeah, it was actually a good experience. They didn't go off on me and accepted a half ass answer, um, which is just the, re the reality answer. I'm filming. I'm in public. I'm allowed to do it. So um, didn't give me any trouble. Uh, one lady came out dancing super high energetic. That was kind of cool. Um, he came out to bang some stuff. That was kind of cool. I don't think I'm going to get anyone coming in and out right now. Just so my boss knows. No. You're creepy. Something happens to one of our shops, I'm calling the cops. Alright. It is 100% legal. I'm on public sidewalk taking that's, pictures. That's not what I was saying. Hey. I'm not that But to do it in a place that has open windows like this, you're, you're, you're allowed. allowed. And you can't trespass your eyes. So anything my eyes can see, I'm allowed to film from public. So why? Why, I'm just, why were you filming our show? So I actually make travel videos. I go to each location and I film for a few minutes so I get people coming in and out. And then we post travel videos. It's a travel video. Yes. But when I get interactions like with her and you, those go on a different video. So we have a different channel for those. Okay. Um, that one tends to be a little more popular. <laughs> hey, I'm here, bro. I'll be on YouTube. Right. Hey, my, I, I, hey, shout it out. Shout it out. You're going in. So. Okay. okay. It's, it's yeah. No worries. I'm just going to go down here because, you know, she went off on me. I'm assuming she's calling the cops. So now I have to wait for them. Alright, well because you're calling, now I have to stay here. You don't have to stay anywhere because I'm talking to my husband. What I say to my husband is none of your business, bro. Mm -hmm. So continue to follow me, we're going to have an issue. I'm not following you. You are following me. Alright. But anyways... way due to move on um, so looks like in here they have the uh, UPS store I missed that somehow but yeah so the owner that came out was of the barber shop how you doing buddy the owner that came out was of the barber shop, um, Bark House. So if you want pet grooming in San Diego, um, doesn't have a phone number, but we are doing, hello? Hi. I can't hear you. And I know you're filming. 
we're, we're, we do travel videos. We take a, all the businesses and we put them on YouTube. Oh. Yeah. Oh, good. So, what's, the, what's the site? What's that? What's the site? Uh, Impact Media. Impact Media? Yep. Okay. Um, you didn't have a phone number. Do you want to give me a phone number so we can, because we, we like to post a phone number on them. Yeah. Okay. Give you or a card? Perfect. So yeah, we'll put it up on the website too. Perfect. So, so what was it? Like, Im Impact Media. Impact. Yeah. So I don't know why it's not reading the business card. Hold on. I gotta try to focus the business card here. Perfect. So I'll freeze frame it right there, and hopefully get some shots. So the barber shop, which I had complimented and you know uh gave a positive review to um later came out and went psychotic so the cj's looks like a bar um hello my wife's the one that you were recording down there at the barbershop are you recording for travel what are you recording for i already explained it to her and she was really rude and got all up in my face i have no interest in engaging with you guys any further they then chased me up the street. Okay. So you guys are actually committing felonies while I'm trying to be left alone and do my job. Okay, what are you and doing? now you show up what right here. I don't have to explain it to you. So now you show no, up you here stalking. That's no. my wife. Okay, I don't have to explain it. Call you the do. cops. I, I'm not, I don't call the cops. Okay, I don't so, owe you an explanation. I okay. gave them all an explanation. What that should be fine. I just wanna know. What's your explanation? That's my wife. You know, what's your explanation? I gave it to them three times. Okay, just let me know and, uh, and I'll call it a day. I film a travel video okay. on YouTube. Okay. And I'm in front of the businesses for three minutes each time. Okay. I get people coming in and out of the business. Ask them how long I was there. Okay. I got it all on film. Okay. I get a few people coming out. They engage. Okay. Your barbershop, uh, I was sitting on there ranting and raving about because they came up. Some ladies dancing. It's fun. You guys have an amazing interior. Okay. And then you guys do this. Uh -huh. So now it's going on YouTube as the shit fest that it turned into. Well, I mean, well, what's the point of the mask and all the stuff? It, it is cold out, yeah. and then when it's sun, so I'm on this side of the street all day. You can understand why so people I get, would be like, it doesn't matter. Off, right? Everybody else, I got videos all day. Everybody else has been so polite and kind to me. Someone brought me Snickers. Someone's giving me water. You guys decided to turn into a shit show, and that's what's going on YouTube and Yelp. So, I mean, it is what it is. So. That, that's, it's embarrassing. They shouldn't have become that. They should have accepted the answer. They laughed about it. They were having fun together. Oh. I walk up a few more shops. I'm doing my yeah. job. Your wife and two workers came up following me and acting batshit crazy. A lot of shit happens around these parts. That's not my so fault. I understand that. Every situation fault. should be gauged on a case-by-case -case basis. I get and that. then now you showing up here like what a I'm, fucking lunatic. I'm Come not on. a lunatic. Bro, you are. You came up after me again after they already well, tried accosting me. So now like you're accosting. You kind of look like a lunatic. Okay, so do you. You know? Are you I fucking kidding me? I don't have a fucking hat and okay. glasses and a fucking okay. like. And on, I dude. don't. And I have all my teeth, bro. Like, come on. We could both sit here and talk shit. shit about each other, bro. I did nothing but praise your barbershop on this video, and you're gonna see it. Okay, and you can see. All your okay, teeth, bro. and you can see uh, it on YouTube later. All the shit. good shit I was talking. I don't weird. have to. Looks weird. Fuck you. Hey, you're the one that came up here like an idiot. So, yeah, CJ's Cocktails. Um, one thing I like about this location is the graffiti art. Um, it's a good place to come and get some pictures and video done. You got a nice corner location. And sushi place, apparently. I don't know if the name is Sushi Deli or if it's just a Sushi Deli. Um, we got 40 years in business, looks like. Uh, 
I like the wall on the inside. It says uh, it's my anniversary. How you doing? I make travel videos and put them on YouTube. Yeah. So I don't know if it's two different restaurants or this one big one. Is it one big one? They got two different sections. That's cool. I like I like this section better. <laughs> What's your, uh, uh, we're with uh, it's a uh, Impact Media on YouTube. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. You guys have a good night. You too. How you doing? Oh shit! I love the tattoos, man. So the next spot we're going to is uh, looks like a uh, ballet center studios. They still got their holiday stuff and a dog grooming business right here in the middle somewhere. I don't know how you'd get in there, but <laughs> uh, they got dog grooming and cat grooming. So 619-299-7387. Uh, if you want to get your dog or cat groomed and you're in the area. Um, yeah. Can I get you on video with the tats? But that's, that's crazy. I like it. I'm, my name's Jack. I'm with Impact Media. <clears throat> so we got a barber and shave um good times not really a big entrance barber shop at 322 um washington street um their price is like a little bit more reasonable still a little bit much but it looks like they're just some clean line work in there. Um, I want to try to get. Hello. So I do a travel video on YouTube. Would you mind if I get a shot of you guys working real quick? All right. Perfect. <laughs> um, Perfect. Thank you, guys. My name is Jack. You guys have a wonderful day. Yep. Do you guys have an Instagram or? We do. What's the uh, Instagram? You just say it on here. I can write it down later. Dame underscore Dapper. Dame. Uh, D A M E. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. You guys have a wonderful day. Yep. So. <laughs> That was a cool little barbershop there.